Well, with me now in Westminster, Omar Ali, President of the Federation of Student Islamic Societies, and here in the studio, the journalist Yasmin Alibi-Brown, who was at today's protest. Yasmin, you wrote uh, not so, a couple of days ago that this was a disaster for feminism, for university life, for modernism, for progressive ideals, and for Muslims most of all. I mean, I get your drift, but are you overreacting just a little bit? No, I'm not. In fact, I think our society and our institutions have been underreacting to the growth of something, as was said by some in, the, in your package, a, a rise of Islamicism, which has nothing to do with Islam. Let me tell your viewers, there are only five fundamental absolutes in my religion. Beyond that, it is all additions, accretions, things added on, but usually by men and by supplicant women, and a variety of beliefs. And I think that universities in particular, and also our other institutions, have been underreacting and falling over. Omar Ali, this is all an underreaction. Well, I, I think um, it's very important to uh, approach this uh, in, a, in a very balanced uh, way. I, I, at FOSIS, the organization which I represent, we represent over 115,000 Muslim students. And obviously this is, a, this is a key issue which is uh, being debated at the, at the moment. Segregation is obviously, uh, it's, quite a, a, it's quite an emotional uh, use of, of, of the language anyway. I think what we have here is we have democratically elected um, religious societies, and it's not just Islamic societies actually, religious societies who decide and choose to have a, a organized separate seating for male and females. And that's simply an extension of faith. It's something let which me, has existed. Just let, sorry let, just, let, sorry to interrupt, but let, let yeah. me just get Yasmin to respond to those points. Yasmin. This is university. It's not a mosque. It's not a temple. You can do what you want in your mosques and temples. You do not have the right. And actually, this is not true, because the meetings I know of and have written about are nothing to do with religion, but are by f lectures by fundamentalists who are telling women to get out of the public space. Um, oh, Ali? Yeah, no, I, I, well, if anyone is telling women to get out of the public space, that's, that's out of order. But I think we need to just well, bring it, we need to, we need to bring this uh, kind of, we need to f focus a bit here. Uh, se th this type of separate seating is something which has been going on for millennia in synagogues and churches and mosques. And indeed, well, it's something which happens in well, uh, hang on a many that, public that, institutions. Let me um, just come in there. That doesn't make it right, because, you know, this is a public place. The majority of the British public, and actually many Muslims, such as, don't want segregation. Okay, well, well, here's the thing. We have something uh, which we need to, you know, very much celebrate in our society, which is the fact that we have the freedom, we have freedom of expression, we have freedom to manifest our religion. If people don't want to um, uh, segregate, that's totally fine. If people would like to and they think that it's an act of their faith, and, and it, very clearly, this is not something which university students are being forced into. This is, these are democratically elected Islamic societies who serve a, a group of students okay. on campus no. in, a, in a particular no. context. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You are using democracy. You are using freedom. You're using the great rights we I now those have are our to rights. completely destroy those very rights and choices. You can do what you like in mosque. People can do what they like in synagogues. This is a university. You are corrupting our universities. You are corrupting our Islam. You have no right to do that. Okay, um, I, I think uh, we live in a liberal society. The, <laughs> I, the, concept, the concept that we have to impose and we tell people that they're ruining democracy or ruining freedom and we're trying to, and, and the, the, it's very illiberal um, actually to try to impose your views. Now I, I accept oh, that my... people may hold different views and I think that's, that's fantastic and I think okay. it's fine for people to hold different views. Let, but me, ask all you of this, would you, it, let me ask you this, would you sit next to a woman yourself? I, 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 I sit next to women all the time. I sat next to a woman on, on, on the train up here and, and in many Islamic society events indeed as well in fact so what's different, the islamic, problem, then? different islamic societies would would choose uh, a different course of action and the other why thing don't I you set uh, up your own universities i tell you what i tell you what i tell you what don't use our taxes to impose these saudi arabian practices open your own universities with your own money do what you like do well, not change I, I, our I, institutions yes yeah, let me ask you one thing you're you're selecting this particular row, but what about the orthodox synagogues, the Sikh temples, the segregation there? Why not take issue with them I, too? Oh, well, religious places and one's faith as practiced in the privacy of your communities is fine, okay? But even there, there are great movements going on. In my mosque, for example, the community I come from, which quite a lot of um, fanatics say are not properly Islamic, we pray together. 
women lead the prayers and men lead the prayers. I have no problems with places of religion. I have no okay. pro problems with the home. I have no problems with people's inner lives and inner homes. This is a state institution. Okay. Omar, um, let me put that point to you. Yeah, no, I mean, I, honestly, I, I find it kind of, uh, it's, it's almost very confusing to say that in one part of society it's acceptable and in another part of society people's rights to manifest their religion are, uh, uh, need to be kind of... Uh, but slipped. answer the I, point I, about I, the public place. Well, it, it, it is a public place, but here's the thing, and, I, and, I, and different societies on campuses are set up for different reasons. If a religious society is set up to, to cater for the religious needs of, of students on campus, why shouldn't they? And I think, the, and one of the important points is, is this. I think that this is almost being uh, projected in almost uh, you know, something which is discriminatory against, uh, against uh, women. It and, is uh, and I think a lot of women would actually find that it's quite apartheid. insulting. It, it is for apartheid. example, um, if, if, if you can let me finish, because I did let you finish. Okay, um, I'm sorry uh, to interrupt. Uh, we have run out of time completely. I'm very sorry about that. Omar Ali, Yasmin Alabai Brown, thank you very much for joining us.